Okay, this is South Pole Up 5 8 inch N48 neodymium iron boron cylinder magnet. As you can see, pouring it underneath hot water, the dielectric inertial plane melted away immediately. The only thing that is holding up the top section of the South Pole freeze from the North Pole section of the southern part is a tiny little thin section right in the middle where the magnet is. Actually where the magnet got deflected as it was freezing. Everything else is completely hollow and absent. That's the only thing that's holding it up. So when I ran the whole thing underneath the hot water to the dielectric inertial plane immediately immediately melted away as if it were nothing it just vanished these are just drops of water right here so as you can see it's all hollow all the way around there except for one tiny section that didn't want to melt so if I so if I actually just take a little towel in here and remove some of the water droplets so you can see it better Here you go. Completely hollow all the way around it. Completely hollow all the way around except for the tiny little midsection. So the dielectric inertial plane has an extremely low melting point. You can actually kind of see it on the wall here too. Anyway, fascinating. Let me spin it around. Since it's ice, it spins away. It spins, spins easily on the plate to prove that it's hollow all the way around, except for some dripping water there. Completely hollow all the way around. That well, all melted away immediately. Magnets in the middle. That's the only part that's holding it together. Is the frozen section right at the middle you can kind of see it there if you look down you'll see it's completely hollow all the way through so this is experiment 12 with the uh, with the south pole of the magnet facing skywards Opposite of retraction because the Earth's magnetic north pole is in the south and in, in Antarctica. So here we have dielectric uh, countervoidance, or what you'd refer to as repulsion, occurring. And the ice in the Tupperware container pressed out, as you can see, very heavily on the top here to create its egg formation. It just fractured it like an egg to make its perfect egg because all the water acts incommensurable by volume and also it pushed out the sides to make the egg formation. The entire side walls of the Tupperware are pushed out in the egg formation. Not the bottom. The bottom wasn't pushed out at all. Only the top and the sides and the perfect uh, egg geometry. No one's ever seen this before. Thanks for watching.